हेलो पीपल वेलकम वन एंड ऑल टू जो जोस लर्निंग क्लब हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जोजोस लर्निंग क्लब सो आई हैव सक्सेसफुली कंप्लीटेड द फर्स्ट सेक्शन ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स दैट इज नंबर एंड अलजेब्रा ओके इफ यू हैव नॉट वाच्ड दैट वीडियोस आई वुड हाईली रेकमेंड यू टू वाच ऑल दिस वीडियोस इफ यू कैन नॉट फाइंड एनी ऑफ दिस वीडियोस प्लीज चेक द प्लेलिस्ट ऑन माय चैनल ओके सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज द सेकंड टॉपिक ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स दैट इज मेंसुरेशन have you heard about menstruation yeah you you have to do it in your childhood days you have to deal with circles squares rectangles and so so menstruation is also something similar to that menstruation is the branch of mathematics which is concerned with the determination of lengths areas and volumes yeah so in menstruation the first topic i would be covering would be on area of plane figures to understand more about area of plane figures we'll just learn about the plane figures bounded with straight lines so we should know about polygons what are polygons a polygon is a closed plane figure bounded with straight lines so when a closed plane figure is bounded with straight lines we say it as a polygon so when a polygon has three sides or three straight lines it is bounded with three straight lines we say it as a triangle when a polygon polygon is what polygon is a closed plane figure bounded with straight lines when it is bounded with three straight lines when it is bounded with three straight lines when it is bounded with three straight lines we say it as a triangle triangle you have seen this for sure so when you can see that it is bounded with three straight lines when a polygon is bounded with four straight lines we say it as a quadrilateral 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 you can see that they have four bar straight lines bounded yeah so this kind is known as quadrilateral when it has five sides or five straight lines bounded together we say it as a pentagon pentagon for example of a pentagon is like 1 2 3 4 5 you can see that this is a pentagon and when it has six straight lines what it would be six straight lines we can say it as a hexagon hexagon is somewhat similar to this one 1 2 3 4 5 6 so you can see that six straight lines are enclosed so we get a plane figure with bounded with six straight lines then we say it as a hexagon okay now what about the seven straight lines seven straight lines i'm not drawing the figure it is just heptagon heptagon when it is eight straight lines we say it as a octagon and then nonagon decagon and so on so This is what a polygon is. What once more polygon is a closed plane figure bounded with straight lines. Okay, now we need to understand about the section quadrilateral. Quadrilateral because in quadrilateral there are five different types of quadrilateral, which are they? Rectangle. So quadrilateral is again divided into five different sections. So one one is rectangle. rectangle on my next video we will study about the properties of each of these types of quadrilateral okay on the next one is what square then the next one is what a uh, rhombus parallelogram 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 then trapezium So you already know that the sum of the angles of a triangle is what 360 degree. What is the sum of the angles of a quadrilateral? To find that, let's take a quadrilateral, right? Let's I'm taking a quadrilateral. That is, by a four straight lines bounded together will form a quadrilateral. If you join the corners, that is, you draw a diagonal from the opposite corners and you join it, then you get a diagonal. This is called a diagonal. So. what you can see that now this is two triangles formed 
you already know that sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degree and this is also a triangle so you have in total how much so the sum of the angles of a quadrilateral is what 360 degree so that's all you have to learn about in this section and on my next video i will be covering about the properties of all these types of quadrilateral that is for square what are the properties for rectangle rhombus parallelogram and trapezium and so on so that's all for today let's see you on my next video bye bye